back to another episode of Problem Solving Tricks, Tips and Tricks from the Cat with me Arun Sharma. And in this uh, video, I'm taking through a learning experience of a question that involves logic and especially the logic of progressions, specifically arithmetic progressions. Let's take a look at this question. So. As you can read the question, the question here talks about that you have a group of 630 children and they are being arranged in rows where every row contains three fewer children than the previous one. So clearly, you, if you think algebraically, this would be the kind of rows you would get. And that's where the algebraic thinking should stop and you should realize that if all you have is an arithmetic progression of numbers that should add up to 630. Now you know that the sum of an arithmetic progression is essentially, or you should know this, the sum of an arithmetic progression is essentially the number of numbers in the progression into the average of the numbers. And the average of the numbers normally is got from the first and last numbers of the progression, but a lot of times the average of the progression can also be seen on the middle term. So if I uh, look at this question. The question is asking me in how many rows it is not possible to do this. So if I try to think of three rows, I realize that if I want three rows, that means three terms of an arithmetic progression, adding up to 630, I need my average to be 210 for the three numbers. And three numbers in AP with the average would be the middle term. 3 numbers in the AP, the average will be the middle term with a minus 3, the series of students will clearly be this. So I'm going to be able to create a series of 3 terms here and hence I can put these children in 3 rows. The question is which of these numbers of rows is not possible. If I look at question 4, uh, option option 2, if I look at, if I look at option 2 which says uh, four rows. For four rows, I need my average to be 157.5. The average, if there are four rows, that means four terms of the arithmetic progression, I need the average to be 157.5. And in a four term arithmetic progression, the average of the arithmetic progression is the second and third term. So these two terms should average 157.5. And they should have a difference of 3, which quite clearly gives you that if I take this as 159 and 156, I should be able to build this AP quite easily. So the AP 162, 159, 156, 153, you don't need to do that in the exam. You just need to understand that you can actually build these two terms and you'll be able to build the AP. And since you have managed the average to be 157.5 for four terms, the sum has to be 630. So four terms is possible. You go to 5 terms, third option, and if you are talking about 5 terms, the AP is average would be 106, and that's easy to achieve. A 5 term AP would have its average on the middle term. So you put 106 on the middle term, and you have 112, 109. Obviously, you don't do this in the exam, I'm just doing this to explain this to you. So 630 is easily achievable, and each of these checks is not more than 5 seconds each. In this question till now. Let's see what happens with six terms of the AP. If I try six terms, an AP of six terms, an AP of six numbers with a common difference of minus six, minus three, my average needs to be 105. And if my average for six numbers is 105, that average I should be able to see in these last two terms. I have two constraints for these for, for in the middle two terms. I have two constraints for these middle terms. One, the average should be 105 and the difference should be 3. Now that can only be done by putting 106.5 and 103.5 here. That's the only way to create an average of two numbers as 105 and a difference of 3. Which of course is not feasible in this case because you are talking about children, you can't obviously can't cut them in half. So this is not a feasible solution, which means you can't have them in six rows. And that's the solution. 
if you wanted to be confirmed with 7 rows, the average would be 90, put the fourth term as 90 and you will get the solution for the question. So the clear answer in this question is that 6 rows is not possible in this case. Hope you enjoyed the learning experience. Subscribe for more and I will be back soon. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.